she's back she's back in her natural habitat okay her wardrobe i finally tidied up in here so i thought it'd be a good excuse to film a video in here so after saying that i was only going to do my top shop autumn haul i logged onto the zara so that happened after my top shop autumn haul and saying that i was only going to do that this season and then i was done that haul wasn't particularly successful i didn't actually keep a lot from it even now i still have a few bits that i kept that i'm kind of not sure on and i'm still making up my mind the leather trousers i loved i'm very much on those and then there were a few other bits that i liked but i'm still making my mind up if i'm honest it wasn't the biggest success but i logged on to zara and we all know what happens when I log on to Zara. I don't think it's possible. Who has ever logged on to Zara and not spent some money? I logged on to Zara, tripped, entered my card details. Here we are. Oh, it's literally the heaviest thing I have ever had in my life. A few days later, here we are. This is not going to be super exciting autumnal colours. If this is what you're expecting, if you want like... I don't know, greens and purples and all of that. She's, you're on the wrong channel. And really... I've been looking at my wardrobe, the things that I rewear over and over, the what I wore videos that I do. By the way, if you haven't watched those, you definitely should. I will link them below. They've been so good for me to kind of look at my wardrobe and really see what I'm rewearing over and over, what fits well with my style, like stuff that I wear all the time that I'm really comfortable in and that I rewear a lot. And I've noticed a lot of patterns and a lot of not literal patterns, like a pattern of dressing, not uh, <laughs> items of clothing, because I can't remember the last time I wore a pattern. I digress. I'm literally getting off on a tangent. I need to eat some food at some point today. Got very excited at the thought of filming this haul and uh, got a bit distracted. So moral of the story, I like monochromatic stuff. I like black, nude, brown, white, which I understand is not super, super exciting to some of you, but very exciting to me and it is my happy place in terms of dressing. So with that in mind, this is Autumn Hall part two. This is this is the stuff. <laughs> so eloquent. This is the stuff. Anyway, this is a really long intro, but basically this is the, the real autumn haul. Like I am very, very happy with everything in this haul. It already feels very, very different to my Topshop haul. Honestly, I feel like I might have to step away from Topshop because I send more things back more often than not. Anyway, you don't care. You, you just want the clothes. So let's do this. All right. Are you ready? Are you ready, kids? I'm actually going to start with a pair of jeans that I bought. This was a couple of days before I actually logged on to Zara. I just picked up a new pair of black jeans because I'd been needing some because my other ones were faded as fuck. I got these. They're basically uh, like balloon style, I would say, but they come in at just the right point. They're not too tight at the ankle, so it doesn't look too balloony. I'm going to have to like show you this on. Yeah. I love them. I really, 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 really love them. They're really comfy to sit around in. Like, they're the comfiest pair of jeans I think I own in terms of actually being comfortable in them. Like, I can go out, eat a meal in them. I can sit around on my sofa, literally be like, that was, that was cute. They're so comfy. I literally love them so much. I just really have learned over the past couple of years that boyfriend jeans are where it's at for me. I feel so, so comfortable and so happy in them way more than I ever have done in like a pair of skinny jeans and I always thought that I would be like skinny jeans for life but apparently not. Hello. So uh, I'm not filming these cutaways on the same day as I thought I would be when I actually filmed the main bit of this video. Future me coming at you. If I look really tired I've had like a few hours sleep and shit's about to get really weird uh, in my brain. So yeah, without further ado, I have worn some of this stuff now because it's a couple of days later, but I feel like that's good because I can tell you about the wear. But the first item are these jeans. These are my clown pants. I really love them. I feel like they're not to everyone's taste because they are very baggy, but I really like them. So you'll see these, but um, yeah, I think they look really cute. Like this. So like you can really dress these up, but they also look good with trainers and a leather jacket as well, which you will see soon. But yeah, I really, really love them. I got them in a size 10 and they fit really well. I can't remember if I've said that in the main vlog of the video, but yeah, they fit really, really nicely. They've got like room for my food. So they're like ultimate going to Nando's jeans. Yeah, I love them. Really love them. Let me show you. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, sorry, you can see all the crap on my floor. Oh, and if you wanted to see what they look like from behind, this is it. I just realized I didn't show you. So yeah. 
And the thing I like about these as well is if you're shorter, you can just roll them up. I actually didn't. They came rolled up like this and I thought the length was fine. But um, yeah, if you're shorter, you can roll them up. And I just think because they're rolled up already, it's kind of like the same vibe. It's not like they're not rolled up and then you're short, so you've got to roll them up. So um, these are goals, whatever height you are, in my opinion, my humble humble opinions yeah i love them so much i also picked up this t-shirt i basically did a haul that was that pair of jeans i've got two white t-shirts which i will also link below and then this t-shirt just because my other t-shirts literally i wear my t-shirts so much they had holes in them yeah so that was that was that i kind of feel like this haul is like an extension of the basics haul the slightly less basic of the basics anyway i'm gonna get on with the step the first thing that i picked up is this dress it's like a blazer dress i am actually really heartbroken so too long don't read my ysl play suit that is like blazer structured all of that style the zip like busted when i was in france a couple of weeks back literally was meant to be wearing it to like a black and white party and it died died a very sad death something basically got stuck in the zip and the whole zip just like busted so i'm in the process of seeing if i can get it repaired if it's savable whatever so in the meantime i picked this up this is very like lorna Lux vibes i feel like if you don't follow lorna you need to like sit down and have a word with yourself and like check yourself because she is literally like the shiz this has her name all over it like lorna if you are watching this and you don't own this you need this but it's this gorgeous like blazer dress it's got puffy sleeves a belt around the waist it's gorgeous i think the length is going to be just right like not too short but not too long on me um hopefully i haven't tried it on yet but i kind of held it up to myself which is the standard girl way of trying on all clothes when you can't actually be bothered to try them on but yeah i'm so excited about that so excited right so i wore this dress last night so i'm gonna do a full review on this bitch the belt so it's very long which is fine but it's actually like stitched at the sides here so it is like loose around the back all fine you get to the side and you can't like move it any further like it has no give so with the fact that i bought i think i bought a medium in mind i may have bought a small if i have it's just very oversized when i want to like cinch my waist in like this the belt is over here and um, because it's stitched i can't like move the belt round, so the belt is central and i also can't replace it with a belt of my own which i would also like to do because this doesn't really like hold very well so last night i kind of like had it looped through and then tucked at the back so that it wasn't like just flailing around that is my main pet peeve with that other than that i do really like it i think it's a really good length it's not too short I really like how oversized it is. Very like Fenty, very like Lorna Lux in the style. Like that is the kind of like vibe that this is. I went for a medium so that it has more of a like Fenty vibe because it's all very like oversized. I'm really, really, really into that. Like I love an oversized blazer and like something like that with like a belt bag around the middle. I'm really, really into it. Like big like shoulder pads, puffy shoulders, love it all. So yeah, I do really like this. It is because of this and how much looser it gets this has a bit more like give to it so you can kind of end up flashing if you are not careful so you literally have to be on boob watch unless you have like thought about it in advance and taped which i did not last night because yesterday was like the world's biggest rush so i was very much like this a lot of the night because we don't want any trouble but it is really cute i love it i think it looks really nice with just like a really simple pair of heels in a black black bag so next up we have the blazer i freaking love this i love it so much it's got really long sleeves let me show you look at those sleeves i love it I feel a bit like i don't know what i feel like i feel like a little bit like you know when kids try on their parents clothing a little bit like that but i feel like it's a vibe yeah it's quite long it's got like a little lapel bit at the back is that what that's called i feel like that's what that's called it's got real pockets you just have to like pry them open yeah i really love it the shoulder pads are like yeah can't feel that really really like it for me this is like the perfect blazer that i could wear as a dress as well if i wanted to it would obviously be like a short dress but this is actually like comes down way past my bum so it works so much better than the top shop blazer that i bought that I kind of wanted for the same purpose. This is kind of what I wish that had been. So I'm gonna actually be sending that one back because this one is so much better. But if you 
want a version that's less exaggerated I would highly recommend that because it just has a little bit less shoulder padding and it's a little bit shorter as well so a bit better for everyday wear but yeah I really love this so cute and uh spoiler alert but I wore this yesterday and uh I'm gonna show you that outfit it's so cute I wore it with these shoes and then with this bag it's such a look I also really like it with this clutch as well for like a more evening look. It's cute. I really love it. So uh, yeah, this is kind of like my dream outfit at the moment. I think I'll live in this for most of autumn. It's literally like the most unautumnal colours and I don't even care. By the way, I feel like I look really like washed out today. It's super, super dark and rainy outside. The light's kind of playing havoc with me. I'm not wearing like a ton of foundation. So I just look very, very like, <laughs> yeah. Oh, do you know what might be why? I've just realized why. Yes. I've literally just realized that my camera settings have been like slightly off the whole time I've been filming. And I've been wondering why my skin didn't match what I was seeing in the mirror. I've just realized why. I'm gonna have to adjust to be right back. Better, that's more what I look like. I was so confused. Like literally I was like, my skin in the camera looks very, very different to how my skin looks in real life. I don't understand. It's like, I know I haven't faked hand in like two weeks, but I should not look like that. Anyway, it's fixed now. Probably gonna be like, we liked it better before, but what can you do? Next we have this coat. This is so different to any coat I've ever had before. And I'm really excited to kind of style it up and see how I feel about it. It's like a slightly off-white coat. Like I would say it's more of a kind of creamy colour. I was wearing a white t-shirt when I kind of held it up to myself. And it definitely isn't like white. It might look it on camera, but it's not. Um, I am worried it might have a bit too much yellow in it to look nice on me with my skin tone and hair. But I'm going to see how it works. It looks really nice on the website. So I'm going to try it on and have a go. I really like the fact that the sleeves are like elasticated cuffs. So they like go in. So it's more of a like balloon sleeve. And it's a double breasted kind of cocoon style coat. I'm really, really excited for this. I just wanted something a bit different. Oh, I love this. <laughs> I just wanted something a little bit different for this autumn winter to try something I haven't tried before. I know I'm going to wear my mango camel coat that I bought last uh, winter or last autumn over and over and over. I'm going to have that for freaking years. That is still on sale, by the way, if you want to purchase it. They brought it back again. Thank you, mango. But yeah, I wanted something that is still very neutral, but also like a little bit more kind of pulled together, a little bit more smart. This is a little bit smarter than that one. That one's very like casual and comfy. I love the coat. When I first held this up to myself, I did have a white t-shirt on and I did feel like that didn't quite work. It looked slightly off and slightly yellowy, but actually with other colors, I think this works really, really nicely. So cute. I really love the fit of it. It was obviously quite long on me, but it's actually like the perfect kind of long. Like there's still a good bit of like leg going on here. I just really don't like it when like things come down to my ankles. It can look cool sometimes, it depends on the fit. This, I think if it came down to my ankles would look too much. Yeah, I think it's really cute. I'd love to know your thoughts. I feel like this could be a bit of a Marmite item. I really like it. It's very cute. Look at that. And I'd probably pair it with like trainers for daytime. Like I think these could look quite cute, although they are white. So maybe I'd wear like a pinky kind of trainer, like a very like off-white pink which i do have um rather than this but these are like a dirty white so it might work let's have a look oh, i like this i really like this oh this makes me so happy yeah i'm really happy with this i just love the sleeves as well so cute just like brings everything in a little bit i would never really do it up like this but you could if you wanted to, but I'm more of a like, leave your coat open and your mum is constantly telling you to do your coat up kind of girl. Uh, it's literally like the only conversation that me and my mother have on repeat, I think, in my life is, do your coat up? No, I don't want to do my coat up. I haven't wanted to do my coat up for 20, almost 28 years now. I'm not doing my coat up. Sorry, mum. Anyway. I love it. I really love it. I'm gonna take a brief interval for accessories now just because they're kind of getting in the way of me getting to the other stuff. I picked up one of these. This is basically the Zara High Street version of the really hideously expensive clutches that everyone has right now, which I refuse to pay 
that much money for. This is the Zara High Street version and I still like it just as much. It is leather, so if you're not into leather then obviously take that into account. 49.99, which is so very different to paying two grand for a clutch. No shade, you can see what is behind me, but it's just not something that I really felt it was wise to put my money into because my love for clutches is very fleeting. Like I have two right there. And that is about it. So I didn't want to spend too much, but I do really like the kind of pouch slouchy style of them. So yeah, I picked this up. I really like it. And I think that even when I don't want to wear this as a clutch, when it's not cool anymore, it makes a good makeup bag. So I just felt like I will still actually get wear out of that. They also do it in pink as well, but on the website, it comes up as a very like, how do I say it? Like salmony pink, which is kind of cute. And I was like, oh, that's a cool, like it's almost like a brown, but it's a pink. I like that. But actually it comes very, very, very pink. So do with that information what you will. I'm gonna just wear this clutch and style it with stuff until the end of time, by the way. So just prepare yourselves. But yeah, I think it's very cute. I love it. Next we have shoes for these shoes and I love a slider you guys know I love a slider and these are like white quilted ones And I thought it'd just be so cool with like my black boyfriend jeans and like a white t-shirt just like a really nice easy Casual look when I'm like popping out. I know they're a bit summery and we're kind of moving into autumn But I still will wear the most non shoe shoe up until I have to wear boots. I just hate wearing shoes I hate wearing clothing that feels like proper clothing. If I could live my life in a bikini and slide as I absolutely would, but it um, doesn't really work when you live in the UK. So anyway, I'm giving these a go. <laughs> that was the wrong way around. I'm giving these a go whilst I've uh, got this jumper on because I feel like it could look cute or it could look awful because there's off-white slash cream and white. I don't know. I don't even know how I'm gonna feel about these shoes. They feel a little bit plasticky. See. They don't feel as like comfy as I really thought they would, but they're still kind of comfy. Mm, don't know. I don't know. I actually think these would look better if they were a slightly like these are like a stark white. I think if they were a slightly off white, they would look quite cool. Let me try it with a white t-shirt because this I think this jumper might be throwing me off a little bit. Okay, so this is better. Better. Is it great though? Hmm. What do we think? I would love your opinion. Lauren, what do you think? I like Lauren's it. nodding. I'm gonna wear these a little bit around the house. Let's see how I feel. I mean, actually I've cut the tags off so that I could try them on in this video. So let's face it, I'm keeping them. I also picked up these shoes, which I, they are a bit grown up for me. I'm a bit scared of them. I'm not gonna lie, but I really love the fact that they're quilted. They are basically a pointy version of the shoes that everyone has at the moment that are like really big and puffy and kind of a little bit like, they're so extreme. And I love that because I love really big, like oversized shit. Like it's just, that is my jam. But these are the more kind of like wearable version of those and they cost 25. 99 so absolute bargain if you want to kind of try out that style but you don't want to spend so much money on a pair of shoes and so much of your time trying to find them when they're sold out but yeah i really like the vibe of them i think these will look really cool again with my oversized boyfriend jeans or even just with like my black tailored trousers for like evenings i think they'll look really cool i am very much into like a low heel at the moment which i kind of hate myself for because i definitely feel a bit too much like my mum. love you mum. i'm just digging a grave for myself but yeah i like them a lot I think I will get a lot of wear out of them considering like if I wore dresses I would think these would look a bit too much and a bit too like mature for my style but that being said I wear a lot of jeans and a lot of trousers that are kind of like baggy and stuff like that and I actually think that these will look really really cool with those so I'm gonna give it a go. I'm gonna give it a go, guys. I'm just gonna do a quick chat on these shoes. So I wore these last night. I feel like I chatted about them enough already. I just thought because I wore them out last night I kind of like give a little mini review. They held up really well. Almost looks like they have barely been worn. The heel is the only bit where you can like tell that it's been worn a little bit. But I'm actually really impressed with how they held up, especially because they are quilted. The only thing I would say is this one has a slight bit of wear here. The other one does not. Odd. But actually they have like no scratches apart from that one little bit of wear. I think they're gonna be a really good shoe because they do have that lower heel. They are quite good for walking in. I just had it slightly awkward though because I'm so used to wearing like either flats or very, very high heels that I was like, how do I, I don't quite know how to walk in these. But yeah, I really, really liked them. Really liked them. They were so comfortable. The only thing they did rub on was my toe that was like there, like my middle toe. But like I said, I was walking a lot. I got these in a size five. Perfect. And they are very like 
Bottega vibes. Very cute. I'm really, really happy with these. They just work with everything. Like, they look nice for jeans as well. Super cute. You've got to try new stuff sometimes. That being said, I've picked up an oversized sweater, which uh, I didn't have enough of those. This has, like, puffy sleeves. I really like it. I think it's going to be really cute with, like, again, my boyfriend jeans throughout the autumn. I'm going to see how I get on with this. It's also got, like, really big cuffs as well. Again, my only concern is the colour because I just feel like I might blend with my hair. Actually, it might be alright. So yeah, very, very excited about that. So yeah, let's pray that that looks good on me. Could really go the wrong way, as you guys will know. These hauls sometimes go south. Okay, cream jumper. Don't let me down. Oh, it's fleecy on the inside. <laughs> Literal first impressions. I haven't worn this one yet. Let's have a look gonna leave my hair tucked in for a moment oh it feels really nice to wear i don't know if this is gonna look cute at all but it feels nice Ooh, i feel like a, i'm like a bird oh god okay yeah i do i look like a bird <laughs> lauren said i look like an eagle cool I like it though. I think it's kind of cute. Lauren's nodding but not looking at me in the eye. <laughs> I'm a fan of this. I'm gonna like watch this clip back. I'll put over the screen now like my afterthoughts because sometimes I look at things back when I edit and I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I like it. It's cute. Anything I'm not sure is like it's obviously like an off white. Do we like that? Do we not like that? TBC. Only time will tell. So my final couple of jumpers are roll necks. I love a roll neck. You guys will know I absolutely love a roll neck. I really liked this one because it's not like a really tight fit. I already have a roll neck from ASOS, which you guys will know I wear like every year. I've had it for like three years now, maybe more. I love it. It's still going strong, so I don't need another like tight black roll neck. But this one was like baggier and I just thought for days when it's like a little bit warmer and I kind of want to wear a layer underneath but not have it be seen and be able to take things off a little bit easier something that's a little bit slouchier and has a bit more room in it is going to be much much more practical for me it feels incredible like I don't know what it is made out of but it feels incredible so it's mostly nylon and viscose it'll be nice and soft and slouchy and fine for me so yeah hopefully it'll be quite breathable we shall see when I try it on. Going into winter, I don't really mind if things do keep me a little bit warmer because that's kind of what you want. The neck on this is tight. That is the one thing I would say about it. Um, but I think it's kind of like meant to be quite tight and then it's quite tight on the sleeves as well. Like it rolls, rolls out and then goes really tight. I think it's like the style of the jumper. It's kind of like on purpose. Um, I've got way too much hair to be doing a hair tuck anymore, but here we go. I really like this. I really like it. I like the fact that it's slouchier for days when I like I love wearing fitted stuff more now than I ever have in my entire life. But I'm a sucker for habit and old routine and I can't pass up a like slouchy high neck. I also think it's a lot more breathable. Um so when you want to just like have a bit more space under your jumper and not be so like yeah, love this. Nothing more to say really. It's just really hard to get off though. And then I also picked up a roll neck that is a little bit more fitted. I'm literally holding it by the neck. The neck is long. But it's a beautiful like creamy nude colour. And I just get so much wear out of my black one that I really thought like having a nude might be quite a nice addition to my wardrobe. So yeah, I really like that. That was 19.99. Okay, I've got this on. I'm not wearing a bra. I couldn't be bothered to go find one because I have like 10 minutes until I need to be in the gym. So. I love this. I actually really love it. I think this is going to be a nightmare for me wearing makeup, but I'm going to like persevere with it anyway. Um, the only thing I'm like, is this necessary? Is this necessary? Like these little buttons. I can't decide if I like them or not, but I think some people will really like that detail. I don't know. I just think like it's just going to get hidden anyway. Is that a bit annoying? I don't know. I really like this. It's cute. It fits really nicely. I think I've got these in a small. I will confirm in the other box. I think I got everything in like either a small or a 10, potentially apart from the blazer and dress. So TBC. I would probably not wear this like full length. It really annoys me when you've got jeans underneath and you can just like see through, like not see through, but you can see like the 
kind of like joinings of the denim underneath the top, which is a bit annoying. But I would probably just tuck it like this. I think it fits really nicely. This is goals. I really like it. Makes me look really brown. I'm not this brown on camera. I actually haven't played tans in about two weeks, so I don't know what this is. It's the white balance on this camera is wild. But yeah, I love this. I'm gonna be cutting the tag out of this immediately. Oh, on that, I do have a shirt that I wanna show you from Zara. Two seconds. I bought this a while back, but I really like it. Ooh, you can see I'm in my pajamas, but. Perks of working from home, guys. I picked up this shirt. I love it. So it's just a very like simple kind of low V neckline so the button starts there. And uh, it's really, really long, really long dip hem. And the sleeve, the sleeve, the sleeve, <laughs> dead, <laughs> dead. The sleeve is like puffy and bell sleeved and I just think it's so beautiful. I love it. Um, I've got a picture of me wearing it, so I'll pop it right here. But I'll also show you how to style it because that's what I like doing with these videos. Yeah, I love it so much. It would work really nicely as a dress on me because it is very, very, very long. On taller people, it would just be a really, really nice long shirt length. So if you are tall, I do still really recommend this because it's very, very, very long. I think it would look cute with cycle shorts underneath. I think it would look cute with jeans. I've worn it with my oversized Topshop mom jeans from the last haul that I did. And I just absolutely loved that look. For me, white and denim is just like my absolute style dream like it's so basic but i just love it so much like i go through my instagram all the time and the outfits that i love the most are the ones where i'm wearing like white and denim and that is my that's my thing and i just need to accept that i am just obsessed with this shirt i've worn it more this week than i probably should admit i love it i think you can dress it up or dress it down the length for me makes it a great like dress option if i wanted to put a little pair of shorts underneath that kind of thing like i said if you are taller I think this works really well as like a long shirt option because it is almost down to my knees so you're definitely going to get the length uh, that you want if you are taller if like you're kind of shorter like me it makes a great dress and then it also just looks very like Olsen twins vibes just like super super oversized I really like it you can really like make it very like day and night so like a pair of the clutch a little pair of sandals looks really cute Oh, I love this. I need to wear this. Why can I wear this? Mm. You can also dress it down with some sliders and a slightly more like daytime appropriate bag. I think it's just like a really nice, easy one. Love it. I just really love these sleeves. Like, look at them. Look at them. So, yeah. Oh. I just love this shirt so much. I'm really sorry in advance for the amount of times you see me in this over autumn slash the next year slash the rest of my life. I mean, until I get makeup on it and ruin it. But yeah, that is, I think the final thing that I have bought from Zara. I'm gonna go and film the cutaways for this now. I also need to go and film a hair routine care maintenance information video. What, do I, what am I calling her? <laughs> hair care routine and everything about my hair video. So that's gonna be coming up as well if it isn't up already. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Let me know what your favorite things were in the comments below. I'm gonna hide my debit card away now because I just need to actually like stop. Yeah, that is it from me today. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I love you all so, so much. And I will see you guys again next week. Uh, or will it be October? I don't know. This month is uh, kind of flashing before my eyes. I will see you again in my next video. I don't know when that will be. If it is October next week, then prepare yourselves. Love you, bye. Thank you.